Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Lancaster Demand Theory. Lancaster Demand Theory also known as attribute or you can say that characteristics model. This theory is given by Calvin J. Lancaster. According to this theory, consumer gain utility through attributes of product rather than product as a whole. According to this theory, consumer gain utility from attribute of product rather than product as a whole. Attribute of product means features of product. So, according to this theory, consumer mainly gain utility from features of product rather than product as a whole. For example, consumer buy a car for its attribute like fuel efficiency, safety feature, interior comfort. Similar, consumer buy food for its nutrition value like calories and vitamins. Now, we will see a diagram. Here we have two food X and Y. This line represent X of food. This line represent Y food. Both food are giving us a vitamin and calories. X axis we have calories, Y axis we have vitamins. If consumer only buy X food, then he will consume total OV amount of vitamin and OC amount of calories. But if he buy only Y food, then he will consume total OV1 amount of vitamin and OC1 amount of uh, calories. Suppose consumer decided to buy both food X as well as Y. That's why this line which lies between X and Y food will called budget line or you can say that efficiency frontier of a consumer. This AB line represent efficiency frontier or budget line of consumer if consumer buy both product X as well as Y. And efficiency frontier mainly tell us a maximum amount of attribute like vitamins and calories consumer can consume with this given income and prices of goods. But where is a utility? As we know in order to show utility we use indifference curve, we use IC. And here we have three IC, IC, IC1 and IC2. And E is a maximum satisfaction point. That means at this E point, consumer is receiving maximum satisfaction. At this E point, consumer is receiving maximum utility. So E is consumer equilibrium point. But why E is consumer equilibrium point? Because at this point, budget line is tangent to indifference curve. Consumer cannot go this indifference curve because this indifference curve is lower as compared to this indifference curve and lower indifference curve give us less utility. No doubt this indifference curve is higher and give us a higher utility but consumer cannot go at this indifference curve. This indifference curve is crossing budget of consumer. So E is consumer equilibrium point where budget line is tangent to indifference curve. At this E point consumer is receiving maximum uh, utility by consuming uh, this uh, product X as well as a Y. So this is all about uh, today's video. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.